Okay, so now we're going to create some mailing labels from that same data set. I'm going to start with a blank document for doing labels. I'm going to go up to the Tools menu and choose Mail Merge Manager. Create new labels. Here it's going to ask you what kind of labels you have. You can get this number off of the box of your labels. It's a specific code that tells it exactly what size it is. I'm going to use the 5160 here for the standard mailing label. I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to go down to the Select the Recipients list. Tell it where our data is. I'm going to choose Open Data Source. Find my spreadsheet that has the names and addresses and open it. If you get this message, just click OK. Tell it which worksheet in your Excel file you want to use. And now I get this little box where I set up how I want my address block to look. From this Insert Merge Field menu, I'm just going to choose the first name, and then you need to type a space if you want a space in between first and last. Hit a return before the address. City, type a comma and a space, state, zip. You could put additional info in here if you wanted. I'm going to skip the postal barcode and I'll click OK. And you'll see that it preloads each label here with the fields for the name and address. If I want to get back in and edit what I've chosen to insert here, I can click this little button right here and I'm back to add in more fields if I want to. A good thing to do now is preview what your actual names and addresses are going to look like. Make sure they're going to fit. To do that, I'm going to click the little preview button here. There's all my names and addresses. And if I want to, I can format these. I can make the font smaller or larger. I'm going to select all by going up to the edit menu and then select all. And now I can make the font a little larger or smaller if it's not fitting on. Change the font size, make them bold, whatever formatting you want to add. But if it looks good, I'm going to merge this to a new document. And there are my labels. And so this is a new document that's not tied to the mail merge. It's just flat data. And if I want to, I can go in and edit this. And if it's all, when it's all set, I can send it to the printer. If you want to, you can save these labels as their own document. And if you think you're going to be doing more labels, you might want to go back to the document where you created the mail merge and save that as a template so that the next time you need to do labels, you can just open up that template.